What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and today I want to talk about back to school fragrances. It has been a while since I started making more Italian content than English content, but once in a while, at least once every couple weeks or once every week, I try to at least make one piece of content in English because even if my new strategy is to focus more on the country where I come from, I want to keep myself uh, understandable all over the place, so all over the world. So I'm going to try anyway, be inter be international and try to make English content once in a while. So today I want to talk about fragrances. It is the main topic that goes well in, with beauty care and self-development on my channel. And since right now in Italy, we're starting to get back to school. So the students are going back here in September to this 1st of September. I don't know where you're gonna see it. I want to suggest, because some people ask me, some fragrances that could be perfectly fit for school. What does a fragrance need to be considered as a school fragrance? Well, in my opinion, school is during uh, winter and spring and also during fall time. So it should be a fragrance that you can wear all over the time uh, during the whole period of the year not particularly a summer fragrance but it should be fresh in my opinion it should not be something sweet it should not be something spicy it should not be something too extremely strong uh, like a Paco Rabanne 1 million or a Versace Eros because you don't need to impress anyone you have to be smelled, smelled but you don't have to be obnoxious to other people around you but still be pleasant and be mysterious and give that kind of a nice vibe so I'm gonna give you my top five here they are in my opinion the best ones they also have the best performance so they can last you a long time so it has to be fresh it has to last you a long time during the whole uh, for during the whole day in which you're you go to school and it has to be kind of a teenager vibe so if you go to school it's normally until 20 if you go to university maybe a bit more so it should be for a younger kind of a guy. My number five spa is Aqua di Gio Profumo. You can also wear the Aqua di Gio Eau de Toilette in this case, because the Aqua di Gio Profumo is more mature, but it's perfect for the office, it's perfect for school. It's something that you can smell and it lasts the whole day. It's fresh, it's aquatic, it's, it has patchouli, it has incense. The Eau de Toilette version is maybe a little fresher, is maybe, it's maybe a little bit better for younger people, but this one is actually very nice. It has really good performance and also a compliment factor. People will notice you and people will give you compliment and I think it's perfect for back to school time. Also fall time, uh, winter, spring, yes, basically whenever you want. So it's a really nice fragrance for back to school time. On the number four spot, you have Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Le Mail, Le Mal. This is the I Love Gaultier, so it's the Eau Fraiche. It's because I don't have Le Mal, the Eau de Toilette one, the basic one. I think that one could be a really nice fragrance for a back to school, because it's perfect for a teenager, it's sexy, it's lavender, so it has this kind of freshness but it's also floral it's very nice it is it has this teenager playboy kind of vibes i really like it i think it's perfect also this version the eau fresh would be nice but this one's better for summertime and springtime if you want to go for uh, the safer route i would go with the normal eau de toilette don't pick the parfum version or don't pick the ultra male because they are sweeter and they are much more for other kinds of, of occasions like for example the club or nighttime and uh too strong fragrance during school can be very very uh, obnoxious and you can be distracting for other people and people around you like they will not give you compliments and it also becomes very disturbing very uh, annoying boring so don't wear too much of it just spray a couple of sprays and if it's a good fragrance it will last a long time so this one is fresh and this was this is a good one on the number four spot on the number three spot I would put 
This one, Versace Dylan Blue. Why Versace Dylan Blue? First of all, because a guy, normally a boy, doesn't have too much money, of course. So this is kind of the cheapest one of these ones. Yes, this is the cheapest one. This lasts a long time. It's aquatic. It's perfect for all year round. It's fresh. It's blue. It's deep. It's dark. I think this one is the main one that I would suggest for the majority of people. The next two ones are better in terms of benchmarks, so in performance and in compliments and, and in scent, but they're more expensive. So I think this should be, this could be essentially the number one spot. So if you're looking for the cheapest one or the one that you know you can wear all year round and people will like you and perfect for uh, the office, perfect for work, perfect for any occasion in which you want to be smelled, but you don't want to uh, get too much of attention, this is perfect. So Versace Dylan Blue, it's maybe the safest option here. On the number two spot, I don't have the fragrance, but I would love to have it because I really like it. It's Bleu de Chanel. The Eau de Toilette version or the Eau de Parfum version, I prefer the Eau de Parfum, but I know that for school, maybe the Eau de Toilette is fresher and it's better. It gives you that kind of mysterious blue dark vibes, uh, but it's cleaner than Versace Dylan Blue. It's cleaner. It has these kind of citrusy vibes and it's more of a all year round kind of scent. It's also classy and it's very elegant so you can wear it in any occasion and I think that's perfect for, um, yes, for school it's perfect and it lasts the whole day. And I also think it's very nice for younger guys. So this is on the number two spot. On the number one spot, uh, this is number one just because it's it has a it gives a lot of compliments. It's better. It's the best option for most of the people out there. Chanel, Bleu de Chanel. I think it's the most expensive one. This is the second most expensive one. Yes, but uh, I mean you will receive a lot of compliments for this one. This is a classic. This is Dior Sauvage, guys. Uh, the only problem with this fragrance is that everyone has it. So you're gonna smell great, you're gonna smell like Ambroxan, like Umber, like uh, Benzoin. Uh, it's fresh, but it's cool, it's nice, it's a little spicy, but in the fresh side. And I mean, it's different, people will recognize you for having this, uh, it lasts a whole day. The whole point is that too many people is starting to have it. So I think that Blue de Chanel over Sachet Dylan Blue are still better options, but I had to put this one on the number one spot uh, simply because it's the one that scores the best. Uh, I think it's my main compliment getter uh, with Spice Bomb Extreme, but it, the Spice Bomb Extreme is not a back to school fragrance. It's not a, uh, a fresh fragrance at all. So I would just go for this if you want to get attention. I would go for Bleu de Chanel if you want to go on the classy side to be more mysterious and kind of a cool guy. I would go with Versace if with the safest option. I would go with Jean-Paul Gaultier if you want a kind of playboy, a kind of a vibe. And I would go with Aqua di Gio if you are more mature and if you wear a little bit more dressed up, even for school, if you wear a, t uh, a shirt, sorry, or if you like to uh, be a little bit more mature than your other friends. So that's it guys, this is my top five for back to school time. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these fragrances, what you were using during school time, and what are you using during school time. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.